Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I want to bring you a story. We've been following the Elon Musk and Tesla purchase of Bitcoin. I want to go a little, a little bit deeper, but in a different angle, okay? So we're going to keep this short, but I'm going to play you a little bit of a clip of a video. This is out of Coindesk. I'm going to link it in the description below, as always. It says the XOCC, which is the office, the comptroller of the currency, Chief Brooks, calls Tesla's Bitcoin buy a bit scary for the rest of the world. Let's play this little clip. Activities. Joining me now is Brian Brooks, former acting comptroller of the currency. Welcome, Brian. Hey, Christine. Thanks for having me. Great to have you here. So, Brian, what do you think of public companies converting their treasuries to Bitcoin? We have Tesla's SEC filing today, and MicroStrategy continues to make big Bitcoin buys. Are they becoming Bitcoin ETFs? Well, it's, it's a great question. Um, you know, I, I think for people who are invested in Bitcoin, it's exciting news. For people who are looking at the rest of the world, it's, it's actually a, a little bit scary news because I think there are reasons why the price of Bitcoin is rising so fast and why companies are replacing, you know, dollar holdings with Bitcoin holdings. So just this morning, Christine, I looked at the money supply in the United States, and here's some shocking news that I'll bet you, you might have an instinct on, but you may not know these numbers. So did you know that the money supply in the United States since the coronavirus pandemic started is up 25%? And once this second round of stimulus is done here in the next few days, the money supply will be up 40% versus 12 months ago. That's crazy, right? Because if you think about it, the way inflation works is the more of an asset you have, the less valuable it is, which means if you have 40% more dollars, the dollars are worth a lot less than they were a year ago. And that would explain why a lot of institutions want to have Bitcoin sitting in their treasury because it's a more stable source of value over the long haul, potentially. All right, so we're going to stop right there, guys. So what we want to do is I want to focus on a different angle. Everyone's super excited because like, oh, there's going to be more adoption. There's going to be more usage. Yes, Tesla is buying um, Bitcoin and they're going to they're going to be able to sell you a Tesla they're going to accept Bitcoin as a uh, currency. You have to realize that it is not only about, you know, the fungibility and usability of Bitcoin is the reason why Tesla is doing this. Them, along with micro strategies and a myriad of other corporations, especially in the last four to five months. And that is very important. OK, four to five months. These companies have been diversifying their dollar U.S. dollar holdings into cryptocurrencies, primarily Bitcoin, because just like uh, MicroStrategies said, we are concerned about the falling value of the dollar. Many banks have come out and said, not only are you to expect in the fourth quarter of 2020, the dollar to lose uh, approximately around 5% of its value, which it did, but we are gonna see an acceleration of loss into 2021. Uh, some banks have put it around 20% loss. Now guys, we're sitting right now in the USD uh, index around the 91 uh, number right now. And I'm telling you, we have a lot of downside to see. And just like he said, people are, are looking at this the wrong way. Yeah, it's causing Bitcoin to rise, the news. But by and large, the reason why Bitcoin is rising is because you have more buyers than sellers, right? Big institutions are buying. But the reason why they're buying is because they're afraid the dollar is collapsing. That is why you're also seeing upward pressure in the precious metals markets, primarily gold and silver. Now, this is going to continue to go through this next year. Like he said, pay attention to the money, print, the money printing. And the current administration has an insane plan for money printing. We're just referring to the current round of stimulus in the last one. The next one is going to be even larger than that. So I want you guys to be thinking that way, okay? It's not like you're trying to make a quick buck. At this point, you are trying to save your purchasing power of your paycheck, of your assets, those kind of things. We are gonna see things hyperinflate because we are hyperinflating the currency. This is not an idiot. This is the, the, the head of the Office of the Comptroller of Currency. He knows better than anyone when you have added 40% of the money supply in merely the past nine to 10 months, 
you are going to have a ripple effect. And the scary thing is they're not finished yet. So I just wanted to make that, that, um, that draw those conclusions for you guys. And when we talk about like people joke around like, hey, sh don't tell anybody because we want some more time to prepare. You don't have it. Every day, there may be swings, and yes, I am expecting a big downward swing in all markets coming up soon, because this is coming to a boiling point, okay? But by and large, you're not going to be able to grab those bottoms. You're never going to sell at the tops. So you need to start looking to diversify your assets. Shore up your families or your personal balance sheets right now, okay? That's not investment advice. That's just being smart. Don't take it as investment advice. Pay down debt, consolidate debt, get your household in order, all right? Tesla didn't come out today and said, we're going to buy Bitcoin. They're saying, it's too late, we already did. Because they knew what the ramifications of that announcement was going to be. And just you know, they only, they, I guarantee you, they waited till the very end of when they had to file and let the government know by law that they had done it, all right? That is an SEC filing that they had to do. That's the only reason you know about it. They didn't even come out and tell you. They let the world tell you. They just filed a document. All right, guys, with that said, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I guarantee you this channel is going to keep growing because I literally have the best subscribers on all of YouTube. I want to make your lives better. And in literally, as I strive to achieve that, you are making mine better. Thank you very much, guys. Economic Ninja is out.